Hello everyone. This video is the continuation of the previous two videos where we have discussed about the core job, non-core job and government job. So in this video, I will be discussing how you can open your own startup and the higher education. Before going further, please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and you can follow us on Instagram. While opening a startup might seem a risky business, you can open your own startup only if you are confident about your subject and have a proper plan in hand. Though there are not too many startups in the electronic industry, so the scope of competition is relatively less as compared to other industries. In case you are wondering what your startup will do, there are many things you can try from VLSI to robotics, nanotechnology to optical communication, embedded system to digital electronics, and there are many other options available. Let's take an example if you see the Swiggy and Zomato, what they are trying to do. They are trying to deliver the code for the drone. They are going for the drone technology. And if you will see coming features, there will be the IoT technology. All these things, electronics and communication engineers are required. You can think in the technology way. You can come out of your idea. You can register your idea in the government website. If you have any other idea or if you want to discuss something, you can reach me out to the Instagram or you can comment below. All you have to do is choose the right technology, conceptualize the solid business plan, then just take the action. Although this would not be easy as it's if you manage to implement this right way then the result will be truly amazing so let's move to the next that is the higher education like other every engineering domain in electronics or electrical the scope for the higher education are decently good whether it's mtech mba phd or ms so let's talk about the mtech first most of you already know pursuing the mtech for two years you need to qualify the gate examination then only you can apply for the iits nit or isc or you might have to appear for some of the retail and verbal examination for some of the iits and nits or iic in case you manage to qualify then you can choose for the domain which whichever you like like uh, sensor technology, nanotechnology, networking, VLSI, embedded, and there are many other options. You will get a stipend of 12,000. Let's talk about the PhD. You will find a quite number of institutions that offers the integrated course for PhD and MTech. For that also, you have to qualify the GET examination. And if you don't appear for the GET, then you will not get the chance of 25,000 rupees in hand. So basically, PhD is for the students who are looking for the research domain in the particular field of electronics and communication. Like you can go for the communication, you can go for the VLSI, you can go for embedded, you can for antenna. There are many options available for the PhD scholars. So let's talk about the MS. Why the scope of MS are limited in India? In order to in order to apply for the MS in foreign universities, you have to qualify the GRE and ILET. And let's talk about the MBA. While MBA is directly not linked with your core domain, though you will get a good decent pay. For that, you have to qualify the CAT, JAT, GMAT to get MBA from the reputed IIMs like IIM Ahmedabad, Bangalore. Then you will get some amazing opportunity to work for the multinational companies finally getting your dream job after completing your btech in electronic and communication or electrical might seem a little difficult if you are passionate about your goals or if you are passionate about the electronics field you will definitely get the kind of job you are looking for and hope you got some idea about where you can apply what you can do after completing your btech or if you are in fourth year so what you can do next that's it for now if you had any question you can comment here you can message me on instagram so see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe channel like and share with your friends